everyone. Thanks for watching my videos. I'm channeling St. Germain today and he's going to talk about what uh, your name is about and the importance of having a name. So um, here we go. Thanks for watching. Oh yes, welcome. I am St. Germain and there are many of us here in the collective today. We welcome you all. Ah, oh, it is a beautiful day with you in it. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, we uh, are uh, seeing that uh, um, many of you are mispronouncing your names or you are using nicknames or you are using middle names or you are using names that are not on your birth certificate. We would say that uh, before incarnation, your spirit chose your name and it chose it for a specific reason. It holds your blueprint. It uh, Every time that your name is pronounced, uh, it informs folds your blueprint. Every time it is written, uh, the vibrational frequency within each letter uh, constructing the word, it unfolds uh, for your blueprint on planet Earth. Uh, many of the egoic minds have prevented you from using your names. It has been in the collective's consciousness uh, to run the program of the ego instead of the program of the heart. But you are all awakening to remembering who you are as conscious beings, and it is time to uh, unfold your blueprint we would say there are many of you who have um, parents who gave you nicknames or terms of endearment uh, to keep you inferior we would say it is that their egoic minds uh, um, wanted to keep you in a place of fear uh, uh, as that is part of the game on planet earth it is not personal they uh, their heart is always loving you unconditionally but we are here to play the game of the egoic mind and our parents or our relatives or our teachers um, were uh, um, uh, uh, believing it was for your highest good to give you uh, cute nicknames or um, use terms of endearment. Uh, we would say it is at this time that you are awakening to remembering who you are as conscious beings. It is imperative that your blueprint gets unfolded. And we would say that uh, as you begin to use your um, name that is on your birth certificate, as your spirit chose that prior to incarnation, your parents do not choose your name. You choose your name. Uh, it is dropped into the parent's mind mind to um, put that name on the birth certificate, but it is the spirit who chooses their name. And as you begin to um, say your name with the correct pronunciation or um, say it in uh, uh, the proper form, you will, un will unfold your blueprint of what you came to do on planet Earth. This is when you uh, say it verbally, it will run the vibrational frequency of the sound, or when you write it, it will uh, also run a frequency uh, uh, of each letter. Um, each letter contains a frequency. We are showing Tara that it goes uh, beyond much depth. Uh, to your um, comprehension. It is uh, quantum physics and it is um, a, a, a structured in a way that is not yet uh understanding to the collective at this time. Uh, what we wish to say is to uh, use your name uh, 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 as it is written on your birth certificate. It is just recently that Tara um, realized that her name has been pronounced uh, incorrectly her, her whole life. Uh, she has been using the term Tara as her parents gave her this name, but uh, we would say that the frequency um, that would uh, be um, to unfold her blueprint of what she came to do on planet Earth would be Tara. That is the way to pronounce it. She was um, quite shocked when we told her, but uh, her husband's name is Michael, and he uh, has always used the nickname Mike, or uh, uh, his um, loved ones, uh, his family called him Mikey, and we would say uh, this has kept him uh, from unfolding his blueprint. Ah, uh, We would say uh, use your name, Michael. It it is that when you use your birth name, your um, 
name on your birth certificate, you will unfold uh, into the now moment and you will unfold your blueprint. Ah, there are many of you um, who were not aware of this in the collective. And um, if Tara is uh, uh, starting to pronounce her name, Tara, uh, it, it is not uh, comfortable at the beginning uh, as she has not been familiar with it. But as you lose the grip of the ego, you will be more comfortable with your names. There are many of you who judge your name your whole life and you were wondering at this moment, ah, that is strange. I've always hated my name. And we would say it was the egoic mind wanting you uh, to, um, or desiring you to uh, not uh, like it or to be embarrassed of it. Uh, but we would say, uh, go in and speak with your inner child, hold your inner child and tell them that you have, um, uh, uh, um, that you love them and that you love their name and apologize for ever criticizing their name. They chose your name for a specific reason. It is time to love who you are and it is time to love your name. It is uh, much imperative at this time. Uh, there are many of you in um, the collective that are uh, stepping into who they are and you are uh, all on this journey and it is um, a great journey and we would say that all is well. Uh, uh, love yourself and love your name. Ah, much love. Ah. Oh, yes, we would also say that in the last video we did, there was uh, a video on... Uh, how to find your soulmate and we would say uh, would this not be in your blueprint as well as you begin to use your given name uh, that will unfold as well for uh, some of you that have been seeking your life partner ah ah Hi everyone, I appreciate that you joined us tonight and I hope you enjoyed us uh, hearing from St. Germain. If you have any comments or questions for him directly that you want me to make a video on, you can leave it in the comment section below or I'll leave my website if you want to book a personal reading with him. Also, um, any likes or shares are appreciated and you can click that subscription button if you would like to see more channelings. Uh, have a great night.